Hello, welcome back to the survival attempt. Now I've had a long break and I'm ready to get back to it. And that is not dying, I mean. Even though it might not look it, I have been super busy in between episodes and I've actually done a little bit around here as well. We can start with the brand new. Oh, I'm disappearing. Bamboo farm, anyway. Uh, it is not like super efficient or anything, but it is automatic, so that makes it efficient. It is more efficient than if I would stand and punch them down myself, which I have been doing for the last time. The second thing I wanted to show you from this area is these deep holes in the ground. This is going to be the streams, water streams, that is going to bring all of the items from all the different farms. So we have the bamboo farm, the melon and pumpkin and sugar cane is there. And yeah, they go here. We also have the cactus and the mob farm in here. I still have left to finish up with the iron farm and the slime farm, which still has a little bit of a bad entrance but i do wonder if i should build any like nice buildings around like the iron farm could be a golem or the melon farm could be maybe you know a melon and a pumpkin you could build a building or sugar cane building hmm. that was unfortunate so I have basically gotten myself a secondary nether portal and this one is taking me to a very special location because I had an ender pearl, I had a ladder and voila the roof. So now we're going to look at some changes I made up here. So another thing I've been trying to do is make one of the hoglin farms and it hasn't really gone that well yet but uh who cares about that stuff you know so since the farm isn't actually working i guess i just have to take most of it down i'm gonna leave the upper platform and maybe we can work out of that out from that one but to be honest, I have about zero idea how this farm works. So, yeah, it should be fun. to be item frames or books or anything I need with leather. It also gives out quite a lot of cooked pork shop so I guess it's good to have a secondary food source. We so I, I'm not gonna use it you know because I do have my golden carrots but uh, I guess it's just nice to have a backup. So I've been making this farm and trying to get it to work and all that stuff but i do have one problem because i kind of fell in lava my netherite stuff survived that's no problem but my elytra not so much i do have a few backups but they are not in very good they're not looking so good 
And since I figured this one out while I was in the air, I don't have any levels. So, I don't know what to do. But I'm sure I'm gonna figure it out. And now I have finally gotten my Lytra fixed up all nice and good. It is perfect landing. It is um, fully enchanted. It is the same as it was before I lost the original in the lava. And I also upgraded my backup Lytra. So now I have two of those. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy. It is just one small problem. You see, footage is a tricky thing. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's just not. And today it was not here. So the visual confirmation that my Elatra is back. And yeah. Well, that sucks. Sadly, my pickaxe Silky was lost in a... I don't remember exactly what it was, but I think it was a fight with a mob of some kind. I'm, I'm not sure, but sadly it was lost. It is up on the wall, the brand new wall that you probably haven't seen it. But yeah, so I don't anymore have a silk touch pickaxe which kind of sucks so going to have to fix that right now or maybe in the morning we'll see now i have been trading i have been gathering levels i have bought books and i have actually mined for some netherite and I am finally done. I have gotten myself a new netherite silk touch pickaxe. I can't zoom in on it, but you see it. It's right there. It's really cool. And guess what it's named? Silky number two. Doesn't it look nice? So... I have discovered that my pickaxe and elytra wasn't the only thing I lost when I died. I also lost a quite important box to me. My iron box. So, this was a really weird angle. So, I am basically out of iron. But I guess I have some left in the farm over here. So, alright, okay. I have a little bit, but this would be gone in two seconds in the trading hall. So, yeah. My own box is gone. I'm gonna have to either try to find it or replace the iron in it, but for now it is gone. So, yeah. That's that. But there are some good news too. I am going to do a little bit of an embust. If you want to come join me, head over to twitch.tv slash eventstreams and follow me there. Then you will get a notification when I go live and it should be super fun. Because it usually is. I at least think so. But for now, I have an iron box to find. If you somewhat enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you want to get notified when my new videos come out, or just help me out, hit the subscribe button below. If you're interested in watching me live when I end burst or at any other occasion, go over to twitch.tv slash eventstreams, the link is in the description. Follow me there and you will get notified when I go live. But for now, thank you for watching and bye!